Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbring here bringing you StarMade Station Reviews and today we begin the Pirate Stations. So, uh, in an effort to keep these videos quick and easy for me to edit, I will be going through them faster than I usually do. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, you'll still see all the station and I've explored it beforehand in order to make sure that I get an idea of what I should be looking at. So we're going to take a quick look at the Asteroid Alpha Station created by Kill a Will, spelled with ones instead of L's. Very mysterious. Anyway, uh, here we have it. This is the Asteroid Station. Asteroid Alpha, as it is called. It's got uh, some sort of uh, antenna up here, some sort of radio dish, right? And it definitely has a nice shape to it. Uh, it's interesting that they put the, uh, the what you call it, the shield and uh, power blocks on there to give it some texture. Although I do wish that, again, wedges, wedges be important. Wedges, wedges... <laughs> wedges everywhere. Um, there, it's, uh, it's a bit strange, there do seem to be some wedges here and here, but not anywhere else, and that's a little weird. Also, the base of the structure has wedges as well. So I'm guessing, you know, maybe the builder decided that keeping it like this was a better look. I'm not gonna agree with that. I, you know, it's, it's a satellite dish, there shouldn't be any hard edges on that. Uh, I would like to say that I I totally dig the asteroid, and you know, there's little pock marks, and it kind of actually does look like an asteroid when you make it like this. It's not as smooth as the, as the other asteroids are that you find floating around. However, you can kind of tell that it's been placed down because of the uh, the uh, build mode, and you can see where you know there's like steps where the uh, the blocks have been placed, and uh, I would suggest rounding that out a little bit more. Definitely keep the whole texture you know, type of thing that you've got going on with these big pockmarks, but uh, definitely make sure that the uh, the build process has kind of uh, been, you know, smoothened out a little bit. So real quick, we're going to go inside. We have a lovely hangar. I don't know if this has a door. It appears it does not, which is kind of okay. I'm totally alright with a, a non-door hangar. There are some turrets. Uh, I'm not so... I mean, this turret actually looks kind of neat, because it looks like a big, chunky machine. Uh, the variety of textures on it does give it uh, the indication that it's, you know, an actual mechanical device. I mean, I still would armor it, as they have done with this one. And I'd also see about, you know, potentially executing this a little bit, uh, well, better. I'm not, I don't know, I, I mean, you know, the shape of it is fine. But, uh, I don't know how I feel about, you know, having the uh, blocks exposed out here like this, you know? People can uh, come up with some really neat turret designs, and I don't think we should, uh, you know, cop out on turret designs just because it's a turret, you know? I mean, it should get just as much attention as any other detail of the station. So, I must say that I really dig the, uh, the, the hangar design. It's very simple, it's pretty plain, it doesn't feel as evil as some other players may have made their hangars, and I think that's totally okay, you know? Maybe these pirates aren't as, uh... Uh, crazy as some of the other pirates in the universe. Who knows? Maybe these pirates are a little bit more, uh, uh, well, I wouldn't say nicer, but uh, not so, uh, you know, bad, <laughs> I suppose is the best way to put it. Uh, and that's kind of the indication I'm getting with this, this color scheme and the hangar design. You know, pirates that are not too absolutely crazy. Uh, you know, I guess that's just how I feel about it, but uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? There just does seem to be an interior turret here, which is pretty neat, you know, I, I don't know what it's doing on this platform, or if the platform is supposed to be a part of the turret, or if it's like some sort of car or something, but I think having like, you know, turrets in the insides of the ship, or a station, pretty neat. I haven't seen it so far in this station review series, so I'm totally digging the concept, and a pirate station inside a pirate station, it totally fits. We have a fighter here with a claw crane thingy. Um, Let's see, I would replace this block right here with another wedge, just to make it seem more like a claw, because right now it seems like a clamp that closes, you know? This uh, this would, like, move in and grab, like, a square. I don't know. It doesn't seem like something that opens and closes, and it's mostly because of this chunky section in the middle. But, um, other than that, that's a really neat, you know, crane design. Pretty simple. Again, it does seem like the station is keeping it simple, not going too crazy. And that's okay, as long as it's ex executed well, I don't think it's too bad, uh, you know, it's not a problem. We do have uh, some doorways, I've explored the station, so... God damn it, I don't understand. 
Is there not a doorway here? It should just activate. And it just kicked me out again. Oh, it's because these things are in the way. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> um, I guess uh, all the doors would automatically be opening. We have a reactor here. It's quite simple. And it's, it's you know, they've incorporated shield blocks in a reactor, which is uh, not the usual. Most of uh, the time I see reactors made out of, you know, blue lights and you know, the power reactors and the power tanks. There is a missing block here. Oh, God. What is all this? There appears to be a lot of... There's like a tunnel. Holy shit. Sorry <laughs> for the swearing, but holy crap. What's up with that? <laughs> um, interesting. Over here is the actual command room. Uh, and this features uh, a really cool blast shield. And with the new uh, hardened, uh, what you call it, the hardened doors, the, the blast doors, we could totally replace this with blast doors and have it be like an actual blast shield that, you know, comes down and protects this uh, control room. It's a, a pretty simple design, but it's pretty neat at the same time. Uh, I do wish there was a little bit more depth on this wall. You know, they've got the depth going on right here, and it actually works really well. But uh, I, I think, you know, they could try and apply it to this side as well, and this room would be like perfectly completed, all of that stuff. Built by Killer Will. So real quick, we'll fly down to the rest of the stuff. This door is apparently jammed, so you gotta be careful, because if it becomes unjammed as you walk through it, who knows, you may be squished. And uh, let's see, this is the uh, control deck for uh, the hangar. Quite simple. After all, it is a simple station. There's not a lot going on here. After all, you know, the hangar isn't very busy looking, you know, it's simple. I do like the shape, and I'm liking the color, and it doesn't even really bother me that there's no depth added to this room. It really doesn't. I mean, that, that looks good enough. I'll be honest. It's not often that I would want that, but in a station as simple as this one, you know, you don't need all the crazy details. It was built with this entire aesthetic in mind. So we have a doorway to the brig over here. I'm not sure why, but the lights are blinking already. But we can activate this button and it will open up all the cells. We can come down here and in here is the armory. I must say that I like this actual, you know, armory design. They've got some more flashing lights in here, which I didn't notice. And uh, some plex storage kind of built into this, like, you know, wall section. And that's actually kind of reminiscent of what an actual army lo armory looks like. Although I'm not sure about the hazard stripes. Uh, I personally don't like hazard stripes that much. I kind of use them as sparingly as I can. Uh, because it is, it does throw in two colors and a pattern into an area. And, you know, when people use them a lot, sometimes it just, you know, bugs me, I guess. I don't know. It's not that I'm saying that it's used incorrectly in the station. <coughs> excuse me. At all. It's just that sometimes you got to be careful where you put these because uh, uh, it can create a lot more uh, movement in an area than you in, uh, anticipate or desire. So we have some sort of external or upper area here that leads to an external area with this airlock, which is actually a pretty neat airlock, and of course, I uh, messed that up again. Is this the door? God damn it, where's the door? I don't understand. I don't. There's the door. Is it a... Yeah, okay. So there's... It's... Okay. Uh, I think technically an airlock should have two doors. <laughs> um, also, it's kind of interesting that they have an airlock up here but nowhere else on the station. So I'm assuming that, you know, the uh, the hangar has some sort of force field on it. So, um, God, I feel weird giving uh, the station a rating. And I say that because it's the first station that I've seen so far. But I'm going to definitely say that the effort is there. Uh, I think it's pretty neat, you know, it's got some cool ideas. I definitely think it's, there's potential to put a few more things in the station, but I'm not going to say that it's a necessity, because this station pretty much has everything this station needs, but including a few more things would definitely add to the value of it, of course. And uh, it's it's got a really awesome shape, too. I really like the overall look of this thing. You know, it's a, it's a station with a big, huge hangar in it, right? It keeps it simple, and at the same time, it looks really nice and, you know, pretty cool. I'm liking the concept, and I believe there are more than one asteroid station uh, that we will be taking a look at in the rest of the uh, the reviews. So, overall, internal and external aesthetics, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, internal is getting an 8 out of 10, I suppose. Uh, mostly because, you know, the external bits need to be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, the turrets, I think, could do with, you know, a little bit more uh, thought. 
uh, because there is a, a very clear difference between the design uh, and effort put in with the interior as there are as opposed to the uh, design and effort put in with the turrets it seems you know I'm just this is just what I'm seeing right here I don't know what the other turrets if the other turrets are there or were there what they look like I'm assuming they may also be the same design but I do I, I totally like the uh, the ideas with this station and as a pirate base I'm gonna give it like an 8 out of 10 I'm not saying uh, that's bad or anything you know uh, but um it's a, it's a little bit lighter on the whole pirate vibe, and I don't know why I think that, but that's that's what I'm going to say. Maybe, actually, this does really fit with the Isanth style. It really does, actually. There's not as much black, but, you know, the red is there, the silver is there from the gray, and these hazard stripes are there occasionally, too. So maybe I'll bump that for uh, an 8.5 out of 10 in terms of the overall effectiveness. It's a pretty cool idea, though, and I definitely want to see this uh, get continued updates in the future and all that stuff. So this was the first pirate review uh, for the stations, for the pirates category, and all that. You know, you know what it's all about. <laughs> you got you you got this, guys. Um, subscribe for more, and uh, I will see you all for the next one.